today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the biggest Hollywood names that you won't believe started in porn. Let's kick things off with a big dumb duh. Sasha Grey, probably one of the biggest porn stars of the last 10 years. Exactly, she's not a Hollywood star, she's a porn star we hear you scream. Look, she's making waves in Hollywood and not everybody watches porn. Did you guys even see the girlfriend experience? She's doing really well on the indie circuit, having fun in B-movie land, and she was in Entourage for God's sakes. That's a pretty hefty resume for just a porn star. Next up is Schlockfest superstar Tracy Lords, known mainly for her roles in Blade, Zack and Miri, and Devil May Call. She's also got one hell of a B-movie filmography under her belt. Tracy started in porn early on before moving through softcore into low-budget feature flicks. Some say a boat sailed, but you should check out Your Name Here and Crazy 8 for absolute proof that it hasn't. Yeah, it's hard to believe, right? While the Terminator himself was a millionaire before he even started acting, during his bodybuilding days he had several nude photo sessions turn into multi-page spreads throughout a wealth of male pornographic magazines. It increased public awareness to his pursuits and it helped him pay the bills. Now look where he is. Not technically starting in porn, but following Batman, Adam West turned down the job of James Bond before becoming typecast. To get away from Batman, he had to start again from the bottom in film. And we mean from the very bottom. He took a few jobs on softcore adult films to keep a roof over his and his family's head. A good enough reason if there was ever a need for one. Look, by now, pretty much everyone knows about Kikili, but she's living, breathing proof that starting in porn doesn't have to affect your dream career. She went from porn to film to thrones, picking up countless awards and being noticed as one of the rising stars of world cinema along the way. If you can watch When We Leave and still think she's just a porn star turned actress, you need to reassess your life. Not a lot of people know about LeBlanc though. While not technically full-blown porn, back in 1992 he starred in a show called The Red Shoe Diaries which was a weekly erotic adult drama series. The show was pretty much just a half an hour of softcore porn loosely framed by David Duchovny reading a letter. It was pretty raunchy at the time and suffered classic porn cliches right down to the softness of lens used to shoot the damn thing. Back in 1980, Penthouse magazine decided to go the whole way and produce a film with mass market appeal. The result was Caligula, a biopic on the power-hungry Roman Emperor. The film basically worked like that up until the point where Bob Guccione, the owner of Penthouse, took the edit away from the director, shot a mountain of hardcore porn and spliced it in. It also happens to be one of Helen Mirren's first starring roles on screen. And another one. Stallone starred in the soft core The Party at Kitty and Studs in 1970, but it wasn't until after the release of Rocky that the film became widely known, when it was renamed The Italian Stallion. There was some media backlash, but nothing major, and Stallone once said it was either do that movie or rob someone, because he was at the very end of his rope. Robbery or porn, what would you choose? It's true, Cameron Diaz started out in porn, beginning as a regular model. She moved into porn modeling before rapidly jumping into film. She managed to cover up all but one part of her past, which shows her preparing backstage for a shoot. Further proof that starting out in the adult industry doesn't have to hurt your chances at making it in Hollywood. It's hard enough to believe that Jackie Chan is a pop sensation in his homeland, let alone that he starred in a couple of erotic adult dramas in 1975. On his experience, he drew similarities to Stallone and Brando. He needed the money. And if Brando could be the greatest actor in history and do something like Last Tango in Paris, then what he did in comparison was nothing. Are there any that we've missed? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe.